Back in the day, the Who were notorious for their various antics. Even though this interview is from 1979, this is still a bunch of men in their mid-30s we're seeing here. Do you think uh, history is repeating itself? I and mean, when I first started to watch the Oh, God, I hope. <laughs> yes. As long as you keep progressing, if you stagnate, then there's no point. But what a load of bullshit. We've <laughs> 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 done all the things we wanted to do. And here you are. Yeah. <laughs> still yeah. smashing things in hotel rooms. a good time. Yeah, great. <laughs> Do you ever feel silly doing that? Oh, incredibly silly. <laughs> <laughs> it's rather a silly thing to do, really, isn't it? I think I'll give it up. No, that's not good. Hey, was... <laughs> I mean, look at this. <laughs> Coming up on Headclog 2, proof that rock stars have bodily functions just like the rest of us. I have the hiccups. Just my nose clean. <laughs> just blew my nose. It's okay. Good. Okay, thanks. Yeah, when, when I was researching this and I was catching you live uh, on tape 1964 at Santa Monica Auditorium mm -hmm. there. And, and, uh, <laughs> excuse me, my God. <laughs> and proof that they have potty mouths, too. Thank you. <laughs> too short was like making tapes and shit back then. Like making tapes and like giving them out and shit. So he started getting a little name for himself in Oakland and shit. Including one in particular, Liam Gallagher of Oasis. I thought the same was we talking about the same old shit, innit? So we thought, fuck it, go to the country. That's that's fucking walk. That's all coming up as Headclog 2 continues on Welcome back to Much More Music's Headclog 2. Earlier, we saw how seemingly brilliant rock stars could be. And God, like, has made just like a glove. I like to do but we have proof that they're actually real people. They have abdominal gas. <laughs> Excuse me, my God. Hi. <laughs> Excuse me. And runny noses. You guys keep getting your germs on the mic. <laughs> That's what this pop goes I'm a little for. sick, so I'm sorry. Oh, Fantastic. my God. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Squeeze it. It's been a bad day. REM's Michael Stipe has the right idea. When in doubt, ask. Is my nose clean? <laughs> Just blew my nose. Okay. Good. Okay, thanks. We're all in this together, right, <laughs> guys? Let me see the teeth. They're okay, I just looked. Okay, they're good. <laughs> you see, it's important to look out for one another, and teeth checking is vital. Just ask Mick Jagger. The other thing you do is you kind of miss a little bit sometimes the, the uh, spontaneity of the early times, you know? Can you see that? Yeah, when, when I was researching this and I was catching you live uh, on tape 1964 at Santa Monica Auditorium mm -hmm. there. Did he get it? Who's actually getting? No. You know, you, you're getting a dollar. And... Now, the stars has meant to have a new deal with Virgin. Yeah. How about now? Charlie has an album, too. Oh, oh right. dear, yeah, it's still there. Well, Tribute to Charlie, Charlie Parker. Parker. There are certain things one can avoid doing in public, no matter what anyone what says. I don't know. I don't know what the... Ritual, oh, my God. <laughs> it's a ritual. No, it's, it's a You're on your own, bro. I try to keep it all natural. All right. And sometimes it's like, hey, I'm sharing with you something that's inside of me. And all I say is enjoy as much as you can. Now, I guess it's kind of, oh, oh my god. You know, I say the true test is when it's bothering you, <laughs> that's when something bad went down. I feel like I wanna go home. Whitney Houston has another talent besides her famed voice. She can cure her own hiccups. Oh, God, I do this. Just feels like the hiccups to me. <laughs> This is gonna be a trick. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Gone. Hiccups are gone. 
Can you believe that? Rod Stewart talking about gynecologist visits, right. Legs up in the air, come on, guys couldn't <laughs> do right. that. Imagine having to slap that out on the table. Anyway, um, <laughs> guys wouldn't do that, would they? Unzip their pants and go, well, here it is, Doc. And so we know, well, we can't look at that. But women just go and, you know, and we we'll have to cut all that out. Cursing is a guilty pleasure for most of us, and rock stars are no exception. Shit, oh, can't say that. <laughs> That's the only thing I told him not to say, Simon. I, I, mean, I can, can say. To direct one of your videos. Jump on okay. <laughs> What is really bugging you guys these days? Right now? Right now? Yeah. Probably censorship. Censorship. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> But also, like most of us, swearing is just part of conversation. Hey, hey, this is f***ing Vince Neil. This is Tommy Lee. Nikki Six. Nick f***ing Mars. And we are Motley, Motley crew. crew. Actually, we're Motley f***ing Crew. That's right. And, and you're, you're watching, watching much, much f***ing music. <laughs> your head up. F***ing A. F***ing A. Yeah. F***ing crank it. F***ing <laughs> <laughs> just f*** you. <laughs> this guy's pretty funny. We had, like, Bay Area shit. And like too short was like making tapes and shit back then, like making tapes and like giving them out and shit. So he started getting a little name for himself in Oakland and shit. So I used to listen to him and shit. But then after a while, I started listening to other shit, and I was like, mm, Captain, this shit is hella better. And then I just stopped listening to Too Short. But like, that's all I listened to was other shit. And our favorite cursor of them all, Liam Gallagher of Oasis. Actually, the F words are really all most of us can understand anyway. Oh, the same old shit. You talking about the same old shit, innit? That's well, that's what I'm really fing doing it for. It's true, innit? So we thought, fing it, go to the country. Relax doing it, because if we fing made the quick, we'd be back out in the morning. In England, they don't even fing get me, so fing it. I don't really give a shit. Good, you're good. Even bands who are really fing shit get fing somewhere. That, that's fing luck. Thank you very much. Have a couple of fing bands. I think they fing get sick of us. Boom, I'm getting them. Else. Something else will pop on. I don't know, as long as I'm about it, well, they're writing about me. They're writing about what I had for dinner last night, it's not fing, who gives a fing shit? Who, would, who wants to know about what I had fing dinner? Who gives a fing shit? Do it fing month. Because. No, oh, I don't. Who's Mel Sports? Fing hell. Ah, shite, innit? That's it, thank you. That's what? Thank you very much. Okay. 25 F words in a 9 minute and 54 second interview means that Liam says the F word an average of 2.5 F words per minute. Coming up on Headclog 2, why is it that music festivals and nudity go hand in hand? What's going on? Have a good weekend. Thanks. Stay warm. And an assortment of amusing clips for your viewing pleasure. Can you hear me, Pee Wee? Yes, I can. Oh, you can. Well, oh, now I can't hear you. But first, we gave you the opportunity to vote for your favorite moments from the original head clog online at muchmoremusic.com. Did you want us to repeat Johnny Rotten? Oh, what an asshole you are. Maybe. It's something to do with an image of great fools. To do with the so? damn songs. You don't think so? No, I don't. End of interview. End of interview. Iggy Pop. Yeah. In other words, you're about to say I'm a no, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> or Playground X. I have to sing it. And I have to believe it. To sing it and to kick like that, you know? You're like... Wow! <laughs> it was a close race, but in the end, you selected Iggy Pop. So, as promised, here it is. Iggy Pop's recovery from drug and alcohol addiction is well documented, but here's an interview from 1981 where it's safe to say he hadn't yet undergone treatment. But it's so easy for me to achieve. It's, it's easier for me than for you, because I have more talent. In certain ever, areas. In any area than you could ever dream of. How the f*** do you know that? <laughs> for the same reason that I have more talent than you could ever dream of. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's and, not much you know, of an answer. So, so I don't, you know, so I don't think that way like you do, best or worst. Oh, I, think, I see. I think what I want to do or what I don't want to do. That's what's important. Mm -hmm. Not what I can do best or worst. Whereas, you know, someone with your limitations would stick to what they do best very carefully. You really are something else. Yeah. In other words, you're about to say I'm a No, I'm not really saying anything. What? What are you hide into? You I can't right believe out. it, man. Okay, that's a wrap. <laughs> Cut. Cut, no. Gee, Iggy. I'm happy to talk to you, Edna. I'm, I'm... <laughs> I know, I can tell. Yeah.
I'm not, I'm not insulting you. No, I know. Come on, Nate. Give it a good break. Come on. No, I'm honoring you. You're honoring me? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think so. Uh, uh, well, I don't have anything else I can do to convince you. I'm sure you can do a good cut-up job. No, I wouldn't waste my time. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. Bye-bye. Nice seeing you again. Yeah, okay. See you later. Bye-bye. Stay tuned for more Head Clog 2 on Much More Music. First viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back to Much More Music's Head Clog 2. It never fails. At almost every outdoor music event, people seem to get naked. And there are some things you just can't unsee. Campers is the cue. What's going on there? Coffee, I'm sure. Do you have a card? Time to get to the bottom of this phenomenon once and for all, wouldn't you say? When did you make the decision to, or, or were you always going to come and take your clothes off and make a statement? No, just, I don't know. I was walking around with my shirt off and then I just decided I might as well take it all off. Because why? Because, I don't know, just, I felt free and wild, just. Like, How have people reacted to this? Take pictures. <laughs> Fell her down. Uh, what do you expect the, the weekend will go like? Do you, you expect that there will be a lot of, uh, people joining you? Yeah, I think so. Before it's over and done yeah. with? I think people are a little hesitant to do it. Did you bring clothes? Yeah, I got two clothes. <laughs> nice outfits? Yeah, well, not really, but bell bottoms. And... Cool. Well, you're making a statement. What is it you want, you want to say? Just be yourself and do what you want. Cool. Have a good weekend. Thanks. Stay warm. I'm sure it seemed like a good idea at the time. You know, putting on a thong and running on stage with Iron Maiden. gonna show that <laughs> the French are supposedly more relaxed about a lot of things maybe that includes stage crashing apparently not Pee Wee Herman's got the bad mic stick down can you hear me Pee Wee yes I can oh you can well, oh, now I can't hear you, but you're joking uh, with me. Uh, 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 I was just kidding. Here are a couple of clips we like to call Rockstar Rants. First up, the Black Crows. The second any interest wanes from you, you're dropped from these companies. So these bands that, you know, the same guys who are in these bands, you know, that all look the same and these corporate kind of like modern rock groups and they, you know, these pretty guys with their haircuts and stuff, you know. The funniest thing is, is the second they're done, you're over. Where is your haircut now, man? Worshiping false idols in a sense, especially when you're on this side of it. Those were the same guys who looked like Axl Rose in 1989. Then they looked like Eddie Vedder, and now they look like the guy from uh, Matchbox, 20. Matchbox 20. Where are the great guitarists? Where are the great musicians? I'll tell you where they are. They don't get a chance, because why, ha why learn to play guitar when you can anyone can be in those bands? Anyone yeah, can, can wear a guitar. Why don't you tell us what you really think? Camilli Vanilli were visionaries because everyone is selling millions of records for doing the same shit they did and got ostracized for. NSYNC really ought to take some time out and watch the Bay City Rollers behind the music, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because at least the Bay City Rollers had cool pants. Jennifer yeah. Lopez and the, you know, my, my new I album. My, music. You know, like my new I, album. I love like, my, my You music. don't even know where to turn the lights on in a studio. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, where's the light switch, J-Lo? And now, Ryan Adams. And I don't think we can chalk this rant up to flu medication. Like, because I play a six, this machine with six strings on it, it doesn't, like, give me any, like, new set of morals, like, or it doesn't break open, like, my moral tritus so that I can immediately be, like, a asshole or a whore or a dick, you know, or, like, you know, beat people up or, 
or whatever. Can you imagine the kind of people who want to be in the rock business, rock and roll? Think about it. these creeps. No, like, I don't think they're. I mean, like, Molly Crew records are fine. You know, they're good and fine. Like, and I love them. They're creeps, creepy weirdos, beating up hookers in Phoenix, Arizona on a kind of like Hustler magazine with your girlfriend. Like, what is wrong with you? Needles hanging out of your arm, dying a couple of times, crashing your car and killing your friends. This is not funny. Ugh, it's just a guitar. Go home. If I was the mom of somebody in Motley Crue, I would just go find him and just grab a hold in their little neck, collar their shirt, and I would just take them outside. Despite so you listen this. here, little Mr. Tattoos. You get it straight. I refuse to get run over by a like flame red Lamborghini with Vince Neil driving it. <laughs> I categorically refuse. Would you hug this woman? Yikes. Looks good. <laughs> it's pink gloss. Is it just me, or do the guys in the usually media savvy kiss seem a little awkward? Okay. Oh, shit. We are like a virus that just keeps coming back and permeating things. All of a sudden, the heads of record studios and film studios are KISS fans, and we're taking over big time. We will not go away. We will not shut up. Ace. Yes. What are you doing? What do you got? What do you, what do you say? I think that what Paul said is very poignant, but you got to remember there's antibiotics out there. <laughs> not for me. That Robert Smith. What a cheerful fellow. So do you foresee any hope in our future, or? Uh... Uh, not really, no. Sly and Robbie have the secret for longevity in the music industry. What's the secret for longevity in a band? Tons of fresh ganja and rice and beans and soy milk and good food, beautiful women, wives and children. And again, tons of good fresh ganja. <laughs> This diss, given out by the late George Harrison toward a former bandmate, was so classic, we just had to save it for last. He said that he wanted to tackle some of the other old songs, including possibly some of John Lennon's songs, like uh, Beautiful Boy and Imagine. Does that surprise you that he would do that? Paul? Oh. Yeah. Maybe because he ran out of good ones of his own. <laughs> <clears throat> well, now we've got that on record. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's true. Over the past hour, you've seen some candid moments caught on tape and stored in our library. As artists keep doing press, we keep interviewing them. You never know when the next classic moment will happen, but if it's recorded, we'll save it. This has been Headclog 2 on Much More Music. Thanks for watching. If you don't like chicken, don't talk to another African-American man about eating chicken. Can I ask you something? Is this interview going to be a beating about the grunge thing again? Because I'm here and I'm playing and I'm over it. I hear uh, some pop pop groups that I could see with it. Oh, yeah. I, I don't... The... You find yourselves closing up a little. <laughs> what is that? Uh, is that a fire alarm? Just... You were shaking your head when I said that. Not true. You know, just kind of disappointed with the question so far, that's all. I was raised on discipline, you know. Um... This is what I was really hoping for when I spent the day with the much music. Now I can't hear you, but you're joking <laughs> with me. Ah, I was just kidding. Welcome to the much more music. Yeah, half-breed culture now is different than what I would have called it a long time ago. But uh, to me,